As a data analyst, if you're, especially if you're working in the marketing space, you may come across the term marketing attribution model, or you may be asked to build a marketing attribution model or just an attribution model. So what is an attribution model and how would you go about building one? Essentially what an attribution model is, is trying to allocate a relative weighting to something, okay? So for example, in marketing, um, the, the marketing attribution model, what it would do, it would say, look, I spend marketing on TV, radio, paid search, display, Facebook, Twitter, okay youtube okay so i spend money on different advertising channels or marketing channels and i want to know what leads to sales okay now there are lots of different types of attribution models and you'll see them okay so the traditional ones especially in digital analytics are things like first click last click you know equal distribution but then you get more advanced uh, uh, analytic uh, attribution models which use statistical uh, analysis like markov chain or um uh, Shapley values to work out attribution and they're they're more statistically uh, sort of robust models rather than first touch last touch which you know uh, aren't really reliable or robust because they ignore the effects of a lot of other things then there are the more sort of traditional attribution models even though they're not called attribution models things like econometric modeling so when you do tv advertising okay you can't actually click you can't actually track tv advertising you, people watch it on tv and then they go buy something whether it's on store or whether it's online and a lot of the time when people watch a tv ad they, they'll go and search for it so suddenly you'll attribute a lot of your sales to search but actually it's because of tv people searched and but tv will get no credit for it because you can't directly directly uh, uh, track the TV. So they use things like econometric modeling, okay, or some kind of time series type modeling, okay, to be able to say, you know, we advertise on TV or radio or out of homes or billboards, and then we saw a pattern of sales either today, tomorrow, even after two years, okay, because things like TV um, has been argued to have a long-term effect, so therefore the econometric models will show that it had a, a long-term effect up to two years, or if not more, actually. If you're a data analyst and you've been asked to build an attribution model, that's exactly what they're, that's essentially what they're asking you to do. They're asking you to work out uh, which channels, which marketing channels um, led to the sales or led to the visit, or whatever the, the actual measure that you're trying to do. It could be sales, it could be orders, it could be subscriptions, um, it could be sign-ups, whatever it is, but they want to know, and it could be based on how much they spend Spend. It could be based on how many impressions they delivered. So each of these channels has their equivalents of an impression. Um, so, so you need to work work all that out. Okay. Now, some of it uh, will be the, the kind of attribution model you can run will be dependent on the kind of data you can collect. So, if you're running something like a Shapley values, for example, okay, you can't really collect TV data. You can't, um, you know, it's, it's not something that you can include into the model, okay, because it, you can't have TV in a, a path that the Shapley values needs, okay. Whereas Econometrics doesn't need that kind of individual individual tracking data it can it can model. So you're going to try and come up with some kind of hybrid or you need to experiment with different methods to work out what's best uh, for your organization or for your client. Okay, so marketing attribution, that's essentially what it is or what an attribution model is. It's trying to work out which of your channels or which of your contributors led to your desired outcome, okay, or your d target uh, metric, okay? So it could be sales, it could be visit, it could be conversions, it could be sign-ups, whatever it is, okay? That's what it is. So if, if you're asked as a data analyst to build an attribution model, that's what you do. And there is no right answer, okay? If there was a right answer, there'd be like a, a definition on Wikipedia that says, this is an attribution model that you should run like this. Like I said, people use, still use first click, last click. You can use statistical techniques like Shapley values or Markov of chain. You can even use uh, standard linear regression actually, um, you know, uh, to, to determine uh, the, the, the contribution of sales. You can even use decision trees. There, there are no, there's no agreed way to do it. You've got to work out what data you have, what the business wants, and then apply the right statistical or right machine learning technique. Like I said, some of it may just be that you need to run an econometric model because you don't have the granular data. And you'll find now in, in a world where third party cookies are being blocked that people have to now start thinking about being able to create attribution models where you can't track people through the conversion funnel as they call it. Okay, so I hope you um, understand a bit more about what attribution model is. So if you're a data analyst and you've been asked to build an attribution model, that's exactly essentially what it is. Um, if you have any comments about this, please do put it in the comment section below. If, you, if there are other terms that you don't understand and you want me to talk about them, please do jot them down in the comment sections below and I'll try and create videos of them. Please do share and like my video. Please tell your colleagues and friends about it. And of course, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.